baseball team, coached by Chris Arecki and assisted by Greg Kasha and Matt Esposito, finished with a 3-11 division record. The most outstanding performance by an individual athlete came from Tim Haggerty. He started and played in all 22 games this season. The right fielder had 15 base hits, 6 doubles, and 2 triples for a batting average of .426. Opposing pitchers did not want to take him on, walking him 14 times this season. A hard base runner, he knocked in 17 runs and scored 12 times himself. The team's biggest win of the year came against Modern Day, which started the Hornets on a three-game winning streak. The team's most memorable moment came by beating crosstown rival Raritan twice. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets' 2022 baseball team. Our girls flag football team, coached by Melissa Menjez and David Sherman, finished with a 6-2 and record, placing them third in their division. This is the second year that Homedale has fielded a girls flag football team. The team scored 287 points during the regular season and earned a spot in the playoffs as the number three seed. Their biggest win of the year came on the road against Pinelands when the Hornets defeated the Wildcats 43-20. to The most outstanding performance by an individual athlete came from running back Adriana Morales. On the opening play of the game against Shore Regional, Adriana avoided every defender in an incredible run into the end zone for a Hornet touchdown. Their most memorable moment was attending the USA Blitz Fan Fest at MetLife Stadium. Team members participated in a football clinic and had the opportunity to meet NFL players. During week four, in their game against Shore Regional, Jersey Sports Zone featured Michelle Steele's touchdown pass to Julia Saparito in their top 10 plays of the week. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 girls flag football team. Our boys golf team, coached by Sean Bemke, finished their season with a 10-3 overall record and an 8-2 divisional record, putting them in second place in the division. The most outstanding performance by an individual athlete was turned in by sophomore Patrick Sharp. With over 100 entrants in each tournament, Patrick finished 17th at the state sectional, 12th at the Shore Conference, 11th at the Wall Invitational, and 8th at the Monmouth County Tournament. He was also selected to compete in this year's Challenge Cup, which was composed of the 12 best players in Monmouth and Ocean Counties. The team's biggest win of the year occurred against St. John Vianney. All five Homedale players shot state rounds in this match against the Lancers, which is the first time this has happened in over 12 years. Their most memorable moment came at the Monmouth County Tournament, with the team shooting a 330. This was the Hornets' best score in over 12 years. In team honors, the Hornets placed in the top 10 at four major tournaments this season. In individual accomplishments, six team members shot state rounds this season. Patrick Sharp led the team with 12, Joseph Aiello had 6, Matthew Merkel had 5, Leon Wang had 2, and both Ryan Stewart and Ryan Kennedy each had 1. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 boys golf team. Our girls golf team, coached by Kathleen Bradley, finished their season with a 9-3 and overall record, which put them in 3rd place in the A Central Division. The most outstanding performance by an individual athlete was turned in by Serena Gane. She is the team's best golfer with an average score of 43.4. Their most memorable moment was qualifying for the state tournament this year. The team finished third in both the Monmouth County and Shore Conference tournaments and 10th in the state regional tournament. In individual honors, Alex Shaw placed 25th in the state regional tournament, 7th in the Monmouth County tournament, 2nd in the Shore Conference tournament, and 5th in the Jersey Shore All-Star Classic. Serena Gane placed 7th in the state regional tournament, 6th in the Shore Conference tournament, and 2nd in the Monmouth County tournament, and won the Jersey Shore All-Star Classic. At the state championship meet, Serena finished 13th out of 72 golfers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 girls golf team. Our boys lacrosse team, coached by Brendan Quinn and assisted by Connor Lawler and Billy Rohr, finished with a 13-7 overall record and tied for third place in the division with a 4-4 four four record. The most outstanding performance by an individual athlete came from Kyle Capsis, who set a school record for points scored in a season with 93. He is in second place on the all-time career points scored list with a total of 200 points. The team's biggest win came on April the 28th when the Hornets defeated Red Bank Regional, then ranked number 8 in the Shore Conference, by a score of 9-8. to 
Their most memorable moment came in their final home game of the year when they defeated Delran in the first round of the NJSIAA South 2 sectional tournament. In team honors, the team was ranked 8th in the short conference, 6th in the NJSIAA South 2 section, and reached the quarterfinal round of the state sectional tournament. In individual honors, both Will Gilfillan and Jack Powers were named to the All Division B North second team. John Fanzini was also named to the team and was selected as an alternate for the Senior All-Star Game. Kyle Capsis was named to the All Shore Conference second team and the All Division first team. Both Kyle Capsis and Jaden Gallo were selected to participate in the Senior All-Star Game. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 Boys Lacrosse Team. Our girls lacrosse team, coached by Daniel Boter and assisted by Kurt Lorenzen, finished with a 2-5 and five division record. The team's biggest win of the year came in their last game of the season when they trounced St. Rose by a score of 12-6. to six. Notching their first varsity goals this season were Domenica Conti, Claudia Diaz, Fiona Flaherty, Ava Manafo, Ashley Perigine, Beth Perigine, and Tessa Pinero. In individual honors, both Jenna Fernand and Faith Salmon achieved their 100th save this season, tending goal for the Hornets. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 girls lacrosse team. Our softball team, coached by Nora Bosmans and assisted by David Gurney and Corrine Fusilli, finished with a 10-9 overall record and a 10-4 division record, placing them third in their division. The team's biggest win of the year came in a close back-and-forth contest against Rumpson. Great offensive production from Rachel Quirk and Madison Yan, along with back-to-back -back defensive plays by Jaden Pavlik in the bottom of the seventh inning, sealed the win for the Hornets. This year's team was a mixture of veterans and newcomers. Their most memorable moment was watching the team grow and develop throughout the season, leading to their second best record in the past 10 years. This season, they qualified for both the Shore Conference and state tournaments. In individual honors, offensively, Gabby Caffey had a 394 batting average. Emma Mitashevsky led the team with 20 hits and had a 308 batting average. Rachel Quirk scored the most runs with 18 and had a batting average of 410. Defensively, center fielder Madison Yan made many great plays in the outfield, finishing with a .985 fielding percentage. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 softball team. Our boys' tennis team, coached by Chuck Chalednik and assisted by Doug Turner, finished with a 14-5 overall record and a perfect 10-0 divisional record, making them the A Central Division champions. In addition to being division champions, the team placed fourth at the Monmouth County Tournament. The team's biggest wins of the year came from defeating Rumson three times this season. During the regular season, the Hornets defeated the Bulldogs twice, 4-1 and 5-0, to clinch the division championship. Then the team again notched a decisive 4-1 victory against them in the semifinal round of the NJSIAA Central Jersey Group 2 sectional tournament. Their most memorable moment came when they lost two tough matches by a score of 3-2. to two. During the quarterfinals of the Shore Conference Tournament, the Hornets lost two super tiebreakers. Then, in the NJSIAA sectional finals, the Hornets competed without their number one player who was out due to injury. The most outstanding performance by an individual athlete came from freshman Alan Sun. He had been playing number two singles all year when suddenly he was called upon to replace an injured player in the number one singles position. During the NJSIAA sectional tournament, he went 3-0, posting quality wins over Rumson in the semifinals and Robbinsville in the finals. In individual honors, both of our doubles teams of Anton Kalajian and Anthony Ristovsky and Vatsal Jane and Ben Wong qualified for the state doubles tournament. Also, both Brandon Hu and Alan Sun qualified for the state individual singles tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 boys tennis team. Our boys track and field team, coached by Tom Herman and assisted by Sean Binkowski, Lynn Bluestein, Matt Isaacson, and Emily Senjetsny, completed their season with a 5-2 overall record, placing them third in the division. 
Zach Rabkin posted the biggest win of the season with a 12-foot, 6-inch pole vault to become the Monmouth County champion. In team accomplishments, the sprint medley relay team of Jack Conti, Justin Harrison, Jacques Lucien, and Alex Tobengaus achieved a time which qualified them for both the Nike Nationals and the Adidas Nationals. The team's most memorable moment was its overall performance in the NJSIAA Central Jersey Group 2 Championships. 25 athletes competed, 20 athletes achieved a personal best, and 9 athletes won medals. The most outstanding individual performances by an athlete came from Dan Vesely and Zach Rabkin. In the Central Jersey Group 2 sectional meet, Dan threw the discus 136 feet to take second place. In the Monmouth County meet, Zach achieved a personal best of 12 feet 6 inches in the pole vault to win the event. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 Boys Track and Field Team. Our girls track and field team, coached by John Cole and assisted by Sean Binkowski, Lynn Bluestein, Matt Isaacson, and Emily Psenetsny, completed their season with a 6-1 overall record, placing them second in the division. In team accomplishments, the sprint medley relay team of Alexa DiNardo, Moni Mabugunje, Brielle McLarnan, and Sarah Trinchillo achieved a time which qualified them for both the Nike Nationals and the Adidas Nationals. The team's most memorable moment was its overall performance in the NJSIAA Central Jersey Group 2 Championships. 22 athletes competed, 16 athletes achieved a personal best, and 14 athletes won medals, which includes two sectional champions. The biggest wins of the season came from two sectional champions, Katie O'Brien, who came in first place in the javelin, and Justine Profet, who came in first place in the high jump. In the sectional tournament, an athlete may enter a maximum of four events. In individual honors, both Alexa DiNardo and Brielle McLarnan won a medal in each event they entered at this year's sectional meet. Julia Keckley qualified for the freshman elite Adidas Nationals in the long jump. Qualifying for both the New Balance Nationals in Philadelphia and the Nike Nationals in Oregon were Katie O'Brien in the javelin, Justine Profet in the high jump, and Julia Saparito in the discus. Qualifying for the Adidas Nationals in North Carolina were Maya Lipinski in the high jump, Katie O'Brien in the javelin, Justine Profet in the high jump, and Sarah Trinchillo in the long jump. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 girls track and field team. Our unified track and field team, coached by Nora Bosmans and David Gurney, finished the 2022 season with each athlete participating in a variety of track and field events. Team members engaged in a series of drills, training activities, and games that help foster meaningful collaboration, physical fitness, and partnership among all members of the student community. Each practice, activity, and competition brought everyone closer together, allowing them to build upon the key principles of unified sports, teamwork, sportsmanship, equity, and friendship. Overall, it was a fulfilling experience that embraced the idea of all students being equal partners, teammates, classmates, and peers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 Unified Track and Field Team. Our boys volleyball team, coached by Brett Kilman and assisted by Aaron Rodgers, finished with a 12-12 overall record and a 6-6 division record, placing them fourth in their division. This is the first year for boys volleyball at HHS. The team qualified for the state tournament and fell one game shy of qualifying for the Shore Conference tournament. Their final 500 record put them squarely in the middle of the pack of established Shore Conference teams. The most outstanding performance by an individual athlete came from setter Tyler Lavelle. He was the only freshman of any team to be named to an all-conference team this season. The team's biggest win came in their first match of the year, home against Red Bank Catholic. This win set the tone for the rest of the season. The team's most memorable moment was the entire season. Freshmen through seniors, some who had never played volleyball before, were able to compete with some of the best teams in the shore. In individual honors, team members set the initial records which future players will have to break. Louis Ambrosio had 28 blocks. Vincent Rolo had 35 aces. Dmitry Kapranov had 167 digs. Tommy Chizowicz had 159 kills. And Tyler Lavelle had 342 assists. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hornets 2022 boys volleyball team. Here are the seniors from our baseball team. Manager Carly Brew. Manager Izzy DeMatos. Manager Cassie Schmidt. Sean Brescia, and John Vito Lobafaro. Here are the seniors from our flag football team, Ella Davis, 
Juliana Kolbasovsky, Adriana Morales, Katie O'Brien, and Katrina Wallier. Here are the seniors from our boys golf team, Ryan Stewart and Leon Wang. Here are the seniors from our girls golf team, Catherine Rokos. Here are the seniors from our boys lacrosse team, manager Johnny Mendini, Jared Battaglia, Josh Burke, Evan Cohen, John Fanzini, Jaden Gallo, Kyle Capsis, Aiden Lagana, and Brendan Warble. Here are the seniors from our girls lacrosse team, Jenna Fernand, Katie Lautenberg, and Mia Monafo. Here are the seniors from our softball team, Ashley Barbarino, Alexa Fernandez, Cameron Guerin, and Madison Yan. Here are the seniors from our boys tennis team, Alexander Foz, Anton Kalajian, Brandon Lau, and Anthony Ristovsky. Here are the seniors from our boys track and field team, Michael Cardesi, Richard Carella, Sonny Chung, Alec Michalenko, Haroon Sheikh, and Dan Vesely. Here are the seniors from our girls track and field team, Maya Lipinski, Katie O'Brien, Paulina Porcelli, Justine Profet, Annika Sharp, and Haley Sharp. Here are the seniors from our boys volleyball team, manager Ken Ziatia, manager Mary Briamonti, manager Sophia Maglino, manager Katie O'Brien, manager Kenzie Sharaf, manager Yasmin Yilmaz, manager Sandy Youssef, Louis Ambrosio, Tommy Chizowicz, Robert Federico, Eric Golko, Dmitry Kapranov, Matthew Kistler, Aiden Kwong, and Darren Serbechi. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we would like to present the Victory with Honor Award. The Victory with Honor Award is a major recognition for a student athlete. The award reads as follows. This certificate is presented to the athlete for consistently demonstrating honor towards others and outstanding character on and off the athletic field. Honor is showing great respect or high regard for other people. Character is the inward motivation to do what is right, whatever the cost. Every person on earth has equal opportunity to build his or her character by developing qualities such as loyalty, committing to those you serve during difficult times, humility, thinking of others as more important than yourself, initiative, knowing what needs to be done and doing it before being asked, enthusiasm, expressing joy and giving your best effort in every task, determination, resolving to accomplish the right goals at the right time, regardless of the opposition. Truthfulness, earning future trust by accurately reporting facts in a timely manner. Responsibility, knowing and doing what is expected of you. And dependability, fulfilling what you have consented to do. The recipients of the Victory with Honor Award for the 2022 spring season are from Boys Track and Field, Sonny Chung. From Boys Volleyball, Aiden Kwong. From Boys Lacrosse, Aiden Lagana. From Girls Lacrosse, Katie Lautenberg. From Baseball, John Vito Lobafaro. From Boys Tennis, Anthony Ristovsky. From Girls Golf, Katie Rokos. From Girls Track and Field, Haley Sharp. From Boys Golf, Ryan Stewart. From Girls Flag Football, Katrina Wallier. 
from Softball Madison Yan. Thank you. 